well as should be. This is important stuff. The talk is titled, No One is Entitled to Their Own Facts Except in Cybersecurity? Question mark. Uh, presenting an investigation handbook to develop a shared narrative of major cybersecurity incidents. If you ask 10 people, even in the InfoSec community right now, what happened during the Colonial Pipeline hack, you'd get 10 different answers that is substantially different on fundamental facts of who, what, when, where, why, and how. By setting up an independent review board for major cyber incidents, this can be how we build a shared historical narrative. So, I mean, I don't, I think it's good starting to build structure around this. But I will say that every time we hear of one of these attacks, there's a couple of things that I think people in the industry see, but you really have to read between the lines when, you know, Target gets whacked and they lose half a million of their, you know, subscriber account details or something like that. There's a couple of lines, avenues of bullshit. Um, that come into play every time and they've just become so standard that they're accepted right out of the gate. Nobody questions them even. And in the industry, I think people don't really want to get into it. A couple of things will happen. First thing, Target's going to claim that these attackers were super sophisticated and that they were like super genius evil hackers and that's how they got in. And we all know that isn't true, right? I know you out there. If you're in this field, either side of the fence, you know it's bullshit. It's, it's not true. Both sides of it are not true. That the, both of the factors in this claim are false. The claim that the other side, that the bad guys are super genius hackers, we all know we're not. Okay, I know y'all are not. You're not super genius. Uh, pretty good, you got some good tools, uh, you work in you know packs and uh, you get lucky sometimes. You'll add all that together and uh, in combination with the other half of this, none of that would work if the other half of this weren't true, which is that their systems were shit. And that's how this happened. It didn't happen because the bad guys were super geniuses. It happened because their systems were shit, okay? <clears throat> people told them that they were shit. Their own teams, their own people told them that they were shit. External people told them they were shit. And, and they ignored all of that. That's how these things happen, okay? The other thing that happens is that they'll also say, this caused $15 million in damage. No, it did actually be like $150 million in damage. No, no, it didn't cost one hundred. billion. You know how they're calculating that? They're calculating how much it will cost to fix all the broken fences that let the bad guys in. They should have fixed the fences before this. It's like you don't build a good fence. Everybody tells you the fence is not good. They tell you that the cows could run right through it, and then when the cows run through it, you claim the damages include all of the expenses to fix all of the fences that you should have fixed before. And this is the really important part. I know you're like, oh, he's just griping. Who cares about these details? I mean, it's corporations, right? No, it does matter, okay? It matters because when those hackers end up in court, their sentence and all of those guidelines will be based on the monetary value that Target is claiming all of this was worth. Okay, or whoever. Sorry to pick on you, Target, but you kind of have a bad rep. Um, and insert name of anybody who just lost a whole bunch of crap. They'll claim that first that they were helpless, they did everything, and the bad guys are just super powerful. Wrong. The bad guys walk through a probably broken fence. Okay, and they'll also claim that it costs X amount of money, and that amount of money includes all the things that they should have done first, and also all the improvements that they now want to do. Um, and this does matter because then some kids end up getting a 25 year sentence and it just affects everything. Anyways, we're so far from even discussing this kind of stuff <clears throat> that we, that this is a good approach. Okay. So go to this session if you want and uh, engage these people and participate in the community and industry efforts to build standards and normalize this kind of thing. Um, so that maybe it will become harder in the future for people to weasel out of their responsibility, companies to weasel out of their responsibilities, and for people to take, uh, to be held accountable for crimes well in excess of what their actual crimes were.